Kane at Satsumi, known by her alias Lady Nagant, is a former villain and pro-hero. She was freed from Tartarus by a riot caused by All for One in Tamura Shigaraki's body. She serves as one of the primary antagonists of the Tartarus escapees arc. Kana is a tall woman with a curvy body. She has long, dark purple hair with numerous scattered pink streaks in it which is usually tied up in a ponytail with two shoulder-length full strands of hair framing her face. Her eyes are purple with a mauve shade with dark, blue-colored angled eyebrows. Before she started working for the commission, Kana wore her presumably school-issued sea fucker consisting of a double-breasted short-sleeved blouse with a dark-colored sailor-style collar, secured with a light-colored tie and a pleated skirt. She had a bag slung to her side and her right arm was wrapped with a bandage from above her elbow to just below her wrist. In her flashbacks, she was shown to be far livelier and had an excited and happier expression. When she started working as a pro hero, she had long hair which was wrapped into a ponytail and secured with a hair clip. Her hero costume was a simple dark bodysuit with two plates underneath her chest and knee guards. She also wore a long scouter over her right eye which was in the shape of a lightning bolt. Following her incarceration, Kana's hair was cut shorter, and she wore a standard red-orange inmate jumpsuit issued to all the prisoners of Tartarus. After her escape, she changed it to a purple sleeveless dress with gold piping around the hem, white zip-up boots with black lines on the front that extend down to the bottoms and heels, and a metallic utility belt in which she stores her bullets. During the final war, Kana returns and is shown to have scars covering her face after her explosion caused by All for One. Her entire body is covered in bandages and she wears a hospital gown over the top of them. These scars have not fully healed, so overworking herself can cause them to worsen and bleed. Kana is a serious and disciplined woman who does not hesitate to hurt people to fulfill her mission or achieve her goals. She can be very casual and rather fearless showing no visible fear upon meeting all for one and even familiarly addressing him. Towards her adversaries, Kana is direct and ruthless firing a warning shot at Izuka Madraya and threatening to dismember the young hero should he not come quietly. In the past, Kana had an optimistic outlook in her desire to be a great hero but was led down a dark path by her superiors having been trained to kill villains and corrupt heroes, sometimes unjustly who were threatening to disrupt the order in society. Her repeated killings resulted in Kana becoming disillusioned, and she soon fell into a depressive state upon realizing that the Hero Commission maintains a fragile and hollow peace at the expense of others, while hypocritically justifying that their actions are for the good of everyone. Kana eventually reached her breaking point upon seeing some young children in admiration over her. Realizing that the youth of society wholly admire heroes and wish to become them while not being aware of the bloodshed that occurs behind the scenes. While reaching out to shake the hands of said children, she saw how bloodied her hand was and retracted it in horror, not wanting to pass said bloodshed on to them. Upon implying that she wished to leave her post and receive a veiled threat to her life in response, Kana finally snapped and killed her superior, as all for one had declared. Kana wishes to see the downfall of hero society, knowing just how corrupt it is underneath, and stated that the symbol of evil's rule would be preferable over the corrupt system she spent years serving under. She also shows pity to the victims of the heroic society such as Kaichizaki yet was also willing to put his life in danger to distract and gain an advantage over Izuku. Izuku. However, pointed out that Kana wasn't serious about killing Kai because the trajectory of the bullet she fired at him was off, and he surmised she isn't as supportive of All for One as she claimed to be because she could have easily fulfilled the contract to capture Izuku without engaging in battle. It is later proven that despite her low hopes and cynical view of society as a whole, she still cares about doing what's truly right in the end and that she became a hero with the good intention of helping others. After witnessing Izuku's skill in battle, as well as how he managed to save both Kai and her with no hesitation, Kana deems Izuku to be a true hero. Overall abilities, Kana is an incredibly powerful combatant, with skills even recognized by All for One, the most powerful villain in Japan, and feared by Hawks. The current number two pro hero. As a former member of the Hero Public Safety Commission, and Hawk Sr., 
It is assumed she was privy to many of the same training regimes and harnessed a vast amount of skills working for them, making her Hawk's top priority. She possesses a large amount of endurance being able to survive being exploded and still be conscious enough to tell the heroes the plan of all for one. Sniping skill. Kana is considered to be the best long-range fighter in the country. Even Snipe, a prominent pro hero with a quirk that improves his ranged attacks, admits that he can't help to compete with her, as she far outclasses his quirk with raw skill alone. Her skill is so great she was able to hit Deku from over a kilometer away, despite it being nighttime and raining heavily as well as her target's greatly enhanced speed and ability to detect danger. She was able to land a hit while moving in midair with her rifle pointed behind her back. Enhanced eyesight, Kana seemingly has enhanced levels of eyesight, being able to easily hit targets from up to 3 kilometers away without any visible scope. Her sight is seemingly unaffected by either darkness or weather conditions such as heavy rainfall.